So here's our question. The coding strand for gene X is ATTGCAG. What is the mRNA strand transcribed from this gene? So you'll notice, right, they're all 5' prime to 3'. Prime. This is pretty common, right? The convention is if they don't say anything at all, like they do up here, or if you're writing it out for a paper or something like that, you always want to write the strands 5' prime to 3'. Prime. Always check the 5 primes to 3 primes in the direction so that you can make sure that you are transcribing the gene in the correct direction as well. So go ahead, pause this video. Based on what we just talked about, try to answer this question. Okay, so hopefully you used our hack that we talked about earlier, where if the coding strand is AATGCAG, Three prime, then our mRNA is going to be the exact same strand, just replacing the T's with U's. So it's going to look the exact same. A, A, U, G, C, A, G. Right? It's literally the same strand. It's just replacing the T's with the U's. So that answer matches perfectly with C. Now, on test day, the first thing you want to do is if you're looking for mRNA, you want to eliminate anything that's not at, uh, RNA, right? Which is DNA. And as we can tell, right, DNA has T's instead of U's, so we could eliminate right away A and D, and then we're just choosing between B and C. So on test day, it's always a good idea to eliminate obviously wrong answers to make sure that you're making the correct decision when you finish your logic. For the sake of completion for this video, I'm going to just go ahead and talk through what all these answer choices are describing, and you can kind of follow along and see if you can name them with me. So C is definitely our RNA sequence, right? And then A is actually just our coding strand rewritten, right? It's our same thing, it's just rewritten, which sometimes happens, right? Because if you didn't remember to switch the T's for U's, you might have picked A as your answer. So this is just our coding DNA strand. Coding DNA. All right. I'm going to skip to D because that's our other DNA, right? And this is actually our template strand. And the way you can tell is if you drew out the template strand, just like we did at the beginning, I'll go ahead up here, right? T, T, and remember this is three prime, right? Because this would be five prime here. T, T, A, C, G, T, C, 5 prime, right? And so even though this doesn't look like the, the exact same sequence, if you start from the 5 prime end and read backwards, C, T, G, C, A, T, T, that is our template strand. So this is the template strand. It doesn't may, matter if you read it 3 prime to 5 prime or 5 prime to 3 prime, it's the same strand. Right? And so you might on test day have to flip it. If they had asked you what the template strand is for this coding sequence, we would have picked D, right? We would have had to flip it, but we would have been able to pick that as our right answer. B is the trickiest because of course it's our only other answer choice that has mRNA, the, the correct uh, nucleotides for RNA. And this would have been correct if the question had been asking template strand instead of coding strand. So if this had been our template strand instead of our coding strand and would have been read 3 prime to 5 prime, B actually would have been the correct answer for our mRNA. And let's prove it for you. So 5 prime, remember A's go to U's, U, U, A, C, G, U, C, 3 prime. Check it out, same sequence here. So be very, very, very careful on the MCAT to read what the question is asking based on what they tell you first, right? If it's coding strand, you're literally looking for the same sequence, just replacing T's and U's. If it's the template strand, you do have to do the actual complementary strand out, right? And depending on how they orient you, right, you might have to flip the sequence and read it backwards. But my recommendation is to do it just the way it's written and then read it backwards for the answer choice if necessary. You'll make less mistakes that way. I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
feel free to practice as many times as you need to until you're really confident about the difference between template and coding strand, sense and anti-sense strand, and how to write out the RNA sequence for each one. I'll see you in the next video.